Weather Words is a production of The Reporter, Delaware County's leading news source. Good day to everyone. If you do step out today, it doesn't feel like spring yet, but it will this afternoon. We're going to go in the 50s, okay? And the rest of the week's not going to be so bad either. However, let's go back to Friday, where if you stepped out Friday morning, it was kind of chilly. But then it warmed up and it rained, 16 hundredths of an inch of precipitation, to finish the month of March. It was a very interesting month. We ended up below normal in temperature. Our average was 31.5. That was one and a half degrees below where it was supposed to be. That made up for being over in January. Didn't make up for February. But the good thing about that, and I don't know if Lillian can get this, the buds are now just starting to come out. You might remember last year on April 4th, we had that horrible wet snow, but we had had an early spring. Things were coming out and it really wrecked everything. Well, I don't think we're going to have that kind of stuff this year. But now let's go to the amount of rainfall. 4.46 inches of rain. It turns out to be 1.3 inches over. That made up for the deficit in February, and it put us over for the year right now for January, February, and March. Okay, so we weren't short of precipitation. But now we get to the interesting part. We had 36.9 inches of snow, 21 inches above normal. Believe it or not, that made up for all the snow deficit for November, December, January, February, and it puts us into a normal winter. We're four inches shy of 100 inches. If we don't get that four inches, I'll be very happy not to see any more of it because it is springtime. And then we had a wonderful April Fool's and it really was an April Fool's Day. You know what? It warmed up here at, to 68 degrees. I know several people told me they were in the low 70s. Okay, so somewhere between upper 60s and low 70s. And you went outside and said, this is wonderful. And then across your phones came all the warnings. Across the TV screens came all the warning about the horrible stuff that was heading in our direction. If you happen to tune into the Doppler radar... You saw it as it was coming across Buffalo and coming into the state. And they were having it sometimes three or four counties in a row, all outlined and all this horrible stuff. So everyone around here picked up everything that was loose, put it away. And what happened? The warning stopped at the borderline of Delaware County. And the storm weakened and we didn't get it. Okay, we did get 36 hundredths of an inch of precipitation. And the winds blew. Let me tell you something. The winds roared all Saturday night. Yesterday was not a real nice day to be out because although the sun was out, the wind was still there. We got to 39, but it never felt like it. Well, for the most part, the winds have died down. Hopefully they'll stay away for a little bit. Our next big chance of rain is going to be Wednesday and Thursday. And then it looks like Friday through Sunday, we're going to be back in the 50s, maybe up into the 60s. The same thing with today and tomorrow. There'll be one cold day in there, but the cold day means we might get to freezing for a nighttime temperature. The daytime temperature is going to be in the 40s. You know what? I'll take it. It's about time we got a nice stretch of stuff. I just burnt the last of my wood in the house. I cleaned everything out. As soon as the stove goes out in a day, I'm going to start putting up the spring curtains, washing the windows, and making it look like spring. And I can't wait. We need it. Be happy you're not down south. Be happy you're not in the Midwest. They've had the most horrible tornado damage I've seen in a very long time. I don't know what to do when you finally step out of your shelter and find you have nothing left. Where do you go from there? I don't know. So... Believe it or not, this morning at 6 a.m. in Mississippi, a tornado touched down already this morning. And they're expecting another storm to get there from on Wednesday. So it's like there's no let up to this for a while. Have a good day. And at the same time, if over this past week you received a free copy of The Reporter, that was put out on purpose. Because you know what? That's where you find out everything that's happening everywhere. So if you've never subscribed before, 
try it and see because you will catch up on everything. Even, unfortunately, obituaries and whatever, but it's all in there, and that's important. Also, if you got an extra copy, pass it along to someone that didn't. Again, the more people that know what's going on, the better it is, and the reporters are our best source of information. So please, either subscribe or pass it along and see if we can get some more people out there, because you know what? It is our best source of news. Have a good day, and you'll hear from me again later in the week. To subscribe or advertise, call 607-464-4009.